be very surprised if any of my friends could tell me hand on heart that they've always acted with they've seen misogyny. I just don't believe that to be the yeah. Ramesh, Max, thanks for joining us here. This is a normal morning for Ramesh, all these cameras. Uh, oh, that's that's how you uh, before him. <laughs> There's a horrible stat I want to share with you, which is across our country, every three days, every three days, a woman is killed at the hands of a man. And I think misogyny, uh, sexism, violence against women and girls are all linked. Growing up with a group of male friends, you can get into cultures where things are being seen as banter or things are being seen as like it's just funny and you know he said something that I think is out of order but I don't want to address it because I don't want to out myself in this group as being a, like you know being out of touch or not being funny or whatever and I think that what's so great about the campaign is you're putting people in the position of what it must be like to be a woman on the receiving end of those kind of comments and that kind of behaviour. Well, you need to lay down the ground rules straight away. Is that what you did with that girl you took out in Shoreditch? <laughs> well, nah, nah, she, uh, she ghosted me. Probably wouldn't know a good thing if it slapped her in the face. Someone I'd gladly do if I see her again. Mate, what did I do now? Stop! Just stop, man! Saying mate, so mate, is, is such a, it's such a simple way of, of, of getting to that point where you can go, what are you doing? And, and avoiding essentially all of that, that drama that needs to be had. It's, it's just mate, and I think that, that's just really simple and it's poignant and it says that. Male violence against women and girls often starts with words. I'm determined to make sure men and boys feel empowered to call out their mates when they act inappropriately. There are very few women I know who have not been harassed in, but in some way, form or manner, you know, whether that be in the gym or on a night out or just walking home. So the opportunity to get involved in a very small way was really important to me. It's a super important campaign and I think that, you know, as men, we need to be having more conversations to hopefully bring down misogyny. By ensuring that women and girls are protected and respected, we can build a safer and better London for everyone.